Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create these sick 3D Chrome effects in Premiere Pro in under 10 minutes. Let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned in the title, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can recreate these sick 3D Chrome effects for your music videos or whatever other projects you're working on. It's a really simple, sick, easy tutorial. Today we are gonna be using the help of the new 11% 3D Chrome Assets preset pack. This preset pack is absolutely insane. It comes with over 20 plus Chrome and iridescent 3D assets. They're all green screen and you just literally chroma key them out and voila, you have 3D assets. I've been using this preset pack for the past couple of weeks on all my projects and it's super easy and it saves me just so much time. So definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. And for those of you who are on a budget, don't worry, we do have a free sample version so definitely make sure to check out the link below in the description at 11percent.net and also it's there we're dropping a bunch of other crazy premiere pro editing preset packs from camera shakes all the way to lightroom preset packs and also if you guys find any bit of this video interesting or helpful please really if you could smash the like button hit subscribe it's free all this content is free so it really it means so much to me in this channel Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, have your clip loaded up. Now it's important that you have a clip with very minimal or very subtle movement right here. So right here we have like a nice little gimbal shot and then here are some like close-ups. Look at, it's our boy, Jactus Cack. No, I'm just kidding, Travis is cool. The first method I'm gonna be showing you guys is we're gonna be using the new 11% Chrome preset 3D plugin pack. Now this pack is absolutely insane. We just dropped it. I put so much effort and time into just creating a bunch of 3D Chrome assets, also Chrome iridescent assets that you can use and simply import into your videos. They all come with a bunch of green screen backgrounds. So you can simply just chroma key out, which I'll show you how to do right now. But yeah, there's just so many different crazy assets right here. So definitely make sure that you check out the link below in the description. And also for the sake of this tutorial, because we always show you how to create everything at a cost-effective manner. If you click the link below, you can get a free sample Chrome 3D effects pack that you can use for your music videos and projects. I really hope this helps, guys. And if you find it any bit helpful, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description and cop the full entire preset pack of our Chrome assets. There's so many assets in here. If you're working on a project and you include anything 3D, your clients will be like, whoa, this is absolutely crazy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the effect. I'm gonna use this little like heart 3D floating hearts effect. This one's kind of cool what's really cool about all these effects right here is that you can actually just speed them up if you just don't like it they're all at 60 frames per second or you can slow them down if you don't like the speed so i'm going to put this at like 200 speed so like double the speed and now you can see we have some floating hearts going up right here and what i'm going to do is i'm simply just going to come over here to my effects and i'm going to search for the ultra key effect and then i'm going to apply the ultra key effect to our chrome asset pack i'm going to use this eyedropper tool select the green and boom voila the effect is is the green is gone come over here to your creative and then come over here to the shadow tint and just select a like shadow tint that kind of matches your scene so right here we kind of have a lot of like teals and orange so i'm going to set this to like a nice little teal and then maybe i'll bring up the the like yellow the highlight tint a little bit more yellow so it matches but just to add an extra layer of depth i'm going to hold option or alt if you're on pc or Mac to duplicate it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my effects and presets and I'm going to search for the Gaussian blur. I'm going to apply this Gaussian blur to this new top duplicate layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the blurriness like a crap ton. Now you can see it actually kind of looks like everything is kind of glowing and dreamy, which is another effect that you can also do. But for this effect, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale these up, these this new layer up a bunch, and then I'm just going to place it in kind of like a little nice random position so that we have some some like hearts that are floating in front of the frame and therefore it just makes it feel a lot more like 3d like there's actual like a bunch of other hearts like you know in this scene and it just it just adds another layer of effects to this i, I love this music video actually because if you freeze this frame right here boom you can see this cameraman look at this rig holy cow look at imagine this guy he goes home he posts on his gram yo i just shot for travis today okay i'm sorry i, I don't that has nothing to do with the tutorial as you can see, this is just one case example of how we can use and apply this effect. There are so many different effects right here, like this 3D gun over here. This one's also a really cool one. What you can also do to save some time is you can just select right click and then copy the ultra key effect that you use on your previous effects and then just hit command V to paste it onto your new layer. So there we go. Now we can just like easily chrome chroma key out our effects. This like 3D gun right here. This is another really cool one. I really recommend that you actually use after effects to like rotoscope out some of your figures so that you can like 
have these effects being placed behind some of your characters. But if you don't have After Effects, remember that we live in an age of AI right now. There's so many different websites right now that can just easily rotoscope for you, like all your footage completely for free. And it's almost sometimes even faster and better than rotoscoping and After Effects. One, for example, is runwayml.com. We have a bunch of tutorials on how to use it. Link right here. Make sure to check them out if you're interested. But runwayml.com is definitely a great website that's completely free to use and you can just simply rotoscope out all your footage. So definitely make sure to check out that link in the description. And lastly, one last tip to just level up your 3D Chrome effects for Premiere Pro is kind of add some motion tracking if you can. I know this is Premiere Pro, but if you have like a very slow, subtle camera movement right here, what you can simply do is you can hit a position keyframe at the very beginning. As the video clip plays out, we can just move it to that same position where it originally was. In turn, it looks like the gun is staying in the same position and then change the position as it moves. So then that way it looks like we have some cool like 3D tracking effects, but it's just simple keyframe animations in Premiere Pro. And of course, make sure to use the rotoscoping right here. I'm just skipping over it in terms of time constraint. And lastly, of course, if you want to create some of your own 3D custom effects, we're gonna show you how to recreate these Chrome effects in After Effects using Element 3D. So this is gonna be a little bit more advanced. So make sure you have After Effects and Element 3D installed. First thing we're gonna do is of course, open a new composition. We're gonna come over here to our layer and then we're just going to hit solid. And now I created a green, like a lime green solid for you know keying out the background purposes. So let's just go ahead and create one of those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit command D and duplicate it. Now what I'm gonna do is you're gonna search for your element 3D effect right here and you're just gonna apply this to the top layer. And voila, it looks like nothing has happened, but don't worry, we can just turn off the bottom layer for now and you can see that this top layer is now invisible. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our scene setup and we are going to add in our 3D effects. Now, of course, because we're working with Cactus Jack right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in some Jordans. Oh, look, we got Lego people here too. Oh, you know what? Lego people might be cool too. Um, let's just do the Jordans for now. So we're gonna import the 3D objects in right here. You're just gonna click load material and you can just click and check all of these. It honestly doesn't matter because we're gonna change them in just a bit. And then voila, boom. You can see our Jordans are now in the frame. We're gonna click the normalized scale to just scale them up. And voila, there we go. We have some crusty looking Jordans right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply hit okay. And now this is the important part. It's important that you add a very blank and unsaturated background. So right here, I have this image of this like basic studio background that I always like to use for my 3D references. And basically why we're gonna import this is because we need a layer for the 3D Chrome effect to reflect off of uh, because it's obviously a Chrome layer. I'm going to just import this image in, turn off the visibility, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this middle layer that we just applied the element 3D layers to. I'm gonna hit the drop down on custom layers, hit the drop down on custom texture maps, and then I'm gonna change layer one to the studio background. Very important. Make sure custom texture maps and change layer one to the studio background or whatever background image you want you know, reflecting. I recommend you keep it an image with like no colors, just very black and white. We're gonna come back here to our scene setup and now what we're gonna do is we're going to hit the drop down, you know, make sure you hit the drop down on the folder and then hit the drop down on your OBJ file or whatever object is and select this little, little mesh material circle icon. And then what we're gonna do is very important once again, come over here to your environment and we're gonna select the none set and then hit the drop down. And then now you should see custom layer right here and then the name of whatever image background reflecting layer you want. And you're just gonna select that and hit okay and boom. Nothing happened, we did all that work for nothing. But don't worry, it's because we still have to turn up the glossiness, which we can turn up right here. And we're gonna just put this at 100%. You can see now that it's definitely starting to look a little bit more glossy. This actually reminds me, sorry, side side tangent. There's like, there was this model in like 2020 of like these like acrylic Jordans and they're like the Cactus Jack ones and, and someone made like planners out of them and they're like these shiny glass. They looked exactly like this. I don't know. I thought it was cool, but, uh, but yeah, just, just random. Just letting you guys know if you want to check it out. And then we're going to come over here to our reflecting reflectivity panel right here. It's pretty obvious, which is the reflectivity icon. It's, it's a little chrome ball. And we're just going to turn up the intensity a bunch and voila, boom. There we go. There we have it. Our nice chrome shoes. Look at that. That looks clean now. And now it's time to go ahead and add some animation. So we can turn on the background layer of the green once again. 
and we're just going to hit the drop down on group one, hit the drop down on particle replicator, and I'm just going to increase this position a bit. And now we're just going to add some basic simple animations or whatever animations you honestly want to add to your effect. I'm just going to hit the drop down on rotation. I'm going to come to the very beginning of the clip and hit a keyframe at the Y rotation, come like seven seconds in or halfway through, and then I'm just going to set this to 360 and it looks like nothing changed, but if we play it back, you can see our shoes are now rotating and we kind of have like a cool rotating effect. And then I'm just gonna go for the, the rest of this. I'm gonna set uh, keyframes at the X and Z and then go all the way to the end. And I'm just gonna add like, type these at 360 at the very end and 360 once again. And if we do them both at once, it should create like a cool little like spinning twisting effect. And voila, there you go. Now we have some cool like floating Jordan effects going on right here. Just make sure that like they don't go over the edges right here. Um, and then once you have that, that is pretty much how you can create your own custom 3D effects. You can go ahead and just simply export this drag this into Premiere Pro and then just key out the green. And there you go. There you have it, your own custom 3D Chrome effects. And if this is of course too much work, just make sure to go check out our link in the description below at 11percent.net. Really, I put, I did all this work for you guys. So we have a bunch of crazy assets ranging from hearts, guns, diamonds, uh, like letters, text. We have pretty much every Chrome 3D effect that you can possibly imagine. So definitely make sure to check out the link below in the description. And if you use this exclusive special code for this video, you can get an exclusive 40% off your first purchase. Make that your Chrome 3D effects pack, 40% off. Come on guys, that that like you guys are like basically robbing me at this point. But yeah, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. And with that, here are the final results. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you guys found any value or help from this video, really, if you could please smash the like button, hit subscribe, it's free. All this content is free, so really it means so much to me and this channel. If you're interested, make sure to check out the 3D Chrome Assets Pack at 11percent.net. Like seriously guys, when I say clients are like absolutely like mind blown when you use 3D effects in their videos, they are. And it's absolutely insane like just how much you can raise your prices by incorporating 3D effects into your music videos or whatever projects you're working on. So I definitely recommend you checking out the link in the description. And also, if you want to join our community of video editors, make sure to check out the Discord link in the description. Join the 11% server. We have competition, game nights, just chats, just a bunch of other fun stuff going on there. So definitely make sure to join our Discord server if you're looking to join a community of like-minded video editors. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.